the next then four the third one. <laughs> awful and then I hit one where I might could play okay Wind really blowing now here at 18. Final groups coming down, closing out this opening round. 63 is the best that we have seen from Amy Olson. See those flags over there. It's going to be going across, helping a little bit. Yeah. Do you think seven will be too big? No, I don't know. It's perfect. I mean, obviously, you don't need to Maybe kill it, but just a little bit off, it should be perfect, yeah. But if I take eight, won't get it, right? No. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think so, yeah. It's getting a little bit colder. You can see those flags over there. It's definitely a corner and off the right, okay? It's not straight down or anything, okay? Yep, 140 would be ideal, okay? You see your shot, bud. So there's the thinking for Minji Lee. And it's a very open hole location today, you know, just on that front right side of the green. But with the wind coming from the right side, makes it a little more of a challenge to get this one close because it should want to draw left on the wind. And this one is going left. It's got to carry the bunker. It does. Okay, good job. Not bad. I wasn't entirely convinced she was committed to that, to that club choice. Works out okay in the end though. I think with this this wind Terry is, is what is what's causing the players some indecision. It's uh, it's just difficult because as you change directions on the holes, you, you go from one hole that seems to be in the same direction that you're on to another one, and, and the wind seems to be different. So it's quite a challenge. Area has a nine iron. Her hands and uh, she can hold hold on to this shot quite nicely and uh, get slightly closer to this hole. I think than Minji could. Trying to work this one a little bit into the wind. It's so soft right in front of that green. She's looking for a little kick, didn't get it. Yeah, so the difference is Aria went with a club that she could go after a little bit, which usually is better um, if you're um, getting a little bit of help from the wind. It's hard to hit the little shot downwind. And that's what Ms. G tried to do. Let's take it in like 142. It's mostly right to left. She made a little bit short. It didn't really help it. Feels like it's almost into it. Yeah, it's most it's just across. Like it's not helping anymore. Sort of like it did on nine, where it just wasn't like, true to your number that you were trying to hit it. I think this is fine, it's 142, right? Yeah, just go at the pin. You don't need to give away a green. It's gonna take it three three to five left, right to left, but that'd still be inside the bunker. This is a caddy's dream drive right here, right on the marker. Caddy <laughs> doesn't have to pace anything off. You know exactly what it is. Would that throw you at all? I think certainly for, for some players it does. I think Brooke was not overly happy that she's playing it from it. But it looks like she's hit a pretty good shot on a decent line. Get a cheer from the gallery because even though it didn't hit the green, that's a pretty good shot. They, they have watched shots come in here. It's been a tough hole today. Yeah, from the experience of watching everybody play this hole today, um, that's, that's not bad. But it is just so soft around those fringes. Yeah. And when a hole is nine feet from the edge of the green, uh, there's a good chance that it's going to land on the fringe. Brooke Henderson going to be the first time in 13 career rounds in this event that she will finish over par. And really, I mean, it's not done yet. Obviously, got three more days, but really disappointing because she came in.